Now flux of a electric field through a surface. Consider a hypothetical plane. Let this is a plane and this is your electric field. This is electric field passing through the plane and this is hypothetical plane and this is area. Consider a hypothetical plane of area del S and suppose a uniform electric field exists in the space. Draw a line perpendicular to the surface and call one side of it and this is your line perpendicular to the surface. This is the line perpendicular to the surface. This is the line perpendicular to the surface. The positive normal to the surface, suppose the electric field E makes an angle theta with the positive normal. This is your electric field and let this is your normal, positive normal. This is called here positive normal and angle between this is here theta. Angle between this is here theta. In the beach angle ban raha, this angle is here theta. Now, the quantity del phi is equal to here E del S cos theta. This is called the flux of electric field through the chosen surface. If we draw the, a vector of magnitude del S, del S along the positive normal, it is called area vector. Here, this is your del S is area area vector and E is here electric field e is electric field vector electric field vector that means you can write here del phi is equal to E dot del S dot product the vector product dot product of two vector is your A dot B and you can write A dot B is equal to AB cos theta. That means you can write E del S and this is cos theta. Theta is the angle between E and del S. That means you can write in this way. If E is along the positive normal, that means theta is 0. In that case, cos 0 is 1. In that case here, E equals phi del phi equals E del S. And if opposite to the positive normal, that means theta equals pi. If theta is pi, that means this will be negative. That means you can write here, if theta is 90, then del phi will be cos 90 is 0. If first case. Second case, if theta is 0, in that case this is cos 0, that means del phi is equal to E del S. And in third case, this is here your case. Third case, if theta is 180, that means opposite direction. In that case, del phi is equals to minus E del S. And here, del phi is your flux. Flux is a scalar quantity and may be added using the rules of a scalar addition. That means you can write net flux is equal to here E dot ds. This is the formula for flux. Flux is the number of field lines passing through the given area. The area se jitna field line pass kar raha, that is called flux. It is customary to take outward normal as positive in the case. Solid angle. There are two types of angle. Here this is angle. First one is here plane angle. Plane angle. The concept of plane angle is in your 2D geometry and this is your solid angle. Solid angle. Plane angle is measured in degree or radian and solid angle is measured in steradian. Steradian. And this is degree or radian. One radian is equal to 57 degree 16 minute approx 21 second like this and here this is solid angle the unit of solid angle is steradian here for this is here solid angle this is your solid angle the ice cream ka cone aap dekhte hain this is solid angle and solid angle is equals to del s by r square del s is this part and r is this one and for plane angle this is your 
theta, this is r, and this arc length, this is here arc length L. That means theta is equals to L by R. And similarly here, angle, solid angle is equals to del S by R square. If your plane angle is this one, plane angle is this, this is your plane angle, then solid angle is like this. For this type of this part is called solid angle. Solid angle, the concept of solid angle is in 3D geometry, and the concept of your plane angle, this is plane angle. Plane angle is in 2D geometry. The maximum value of here theta max is equal to 2 pi, and here solid angle max is equal to here del s, del s maximum is equal to 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square is a sphere ke liye lete hain. Aur sphere ke liye, jo center pe jo angle bane ga, that angle is here 4 pi r square by r square cancel. That means this is 4 pi. That means maximum value of solid angle is 4 pi. And here arc length is maximum is your perimeter of circle. That means this is 2 pi r by r is equal to theta. r r cancel, that means this is 2 pi. So theta max is equal to here 2 pi. Now let us understand Gauss's law. Gauss's law is one of the fundamental law of physics and it relates the electric field to the charge distribution which produced this field. Now Gauss's law. The statement of Gauss's law may be written as follows. The flux of the net electric field through a closed surface equals the net charge enclosed by surface divided by epsilon naught. In symbol you can write this is E ds electric field and this is area is equal to Q inside divided by epsilon naught. Q inside is the net charge. Q inside is net charge. This is net charge enclosed by the surface through which the flux is calculated. It should be carefully noted that electric field on the left side of equation, electric field on the left side of equation, this equation, is the resultant of electric field due to the all charges existing in space. Whereas charge appearing on the right hand side includes only those which are inside the closed surface. Gauss's law is taken as the fundamental law of nature and a law whose validity is shown by your experiment. And you can say here, Coulomb's law was discovered before Gauss's law and it is possible to derive Gauss's law from Coulomb's law. In here question is the uniform electric field exists in space. Find the flux of this field through the cylindrical surface with the axis of parallel to the field. Let draw the figure. Here this is cylinder and this is your cylinder and this is your surface normal. That means this is del S and this is here normal. And electric field is here like this one. This is uniform electric field in space. This is. And here normal and electric field del S that means del S vector and E vector are perpendicular to each other. That means theta is equal to here, here 90 degree. That means you can write del phi is equal to E dot del S. So here E del S cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. So net flux is 0 in this case. The normal area vector is perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. This is the axis of cylinder. And it is perpendicular because this is your curved or curved surface ke liye hai, perpendicular hoga, is side se bhi denge to perpendicular. So in every case your electric field and del S is perpendicular to each other. So theta is 90 and put 90 here, you will get cos 90 0, that means flux is equals to 0. Now here question is, a charge Q is placed at the center of a sphere. Let this is your sphere and this is charge Q placed at the center of a sphere taking outward normal as positive. Let this is the reason and this is positive. This is normal as per question. This is outward 
यहां भी ले सकते हैं दिस इज नॉर्मल इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव फाइंड द फ्लक्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड थ्रू द सर्फेस ऑफ द स्पेयर ड्यू टू इनक्लोज चार्ज तो चार्ज के कारण जो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड होगा वो भी आपका इसी सरफेस के परपेंडिकुलर होगा लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज योर डेलेस डेलेस भी क्या है परपेंडिकुलर डेलेस इज ऑल्सो परपेंडिकुलर टू द सरफेस एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम द चार्ज गिवेन चार्ज लेट एस टेक स्मॉल एलिमेंट डेलेस दिस इज स्मॉल एलिमेंट डेलेस ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द स्पेयर द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हियर रेडियली आउटवर्ड and has magnitude electric field e has magnitude your q by 4 pi epsilon not 1 by r square this is electric field where r is the radius of the sphere as the positive normal is also outward so theta is here both are parallel so theta is here 0 degree and the flux through this part is your del phi is equal to here e del s e del s that means you can write here e is what e is here given 4 pi epsilon not here into 1 by r square and to this is del s this is equals to del phi del phi and here maximum surface area of this sphere is del s del s will be maximum uh, maximum value is 4 pi r square that means you can write Del phi is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon not into 1 by r square into del s del s की जगह हम लिखते हैं 4 pi r square 4 pi r square that means this will be cancel cancel that means del phi is equal to q by epsilon not here net flux that means summing over the all parts of a sphere you will get del phi that means phi del phi becomes phi phi is equals to charge inside divided by your epsilon not here phi is equals to q by 4 pi epsilon not r square sigma del s sigma del s sum of all small segment area and del s is here 4 pi r square 4 pi r square 4 pi r square cancel out that means here phi is equals to q by epsilon not where q is charge now see this numerical here given electric field in a region is given by e equals ai plus bj that means electric field is in x direction as well as in y direction here a and b are constant find the net flux question is about flux passing through the square of area of side 1 parallel to yz plane that means you here you can write a square area of side l parallel to yz plane parallel to yz plane means it is along x axis yz plane means it is along x axis along x axis this is here coordinate axis this is coordinate axis x y z this is yz plane that means direction is along your x axis now you can write here s is equal to l square i for x direction i and given electric field is equal to here ai plus bj is given here so net electric flux passing through the given area will be here phi e is equal to e dot ds e dot ds this is ds here or you can say this is s e dot s bhi likh sakte hain isko so here answer will be a i plus this is b j you have to find the dot product of two vector here l square i plus 0 j you can write that means this will be here a and this is a l square so this is your net electric flux is this so net electric flux will be here phi e which is a, a l square 